right now look at this we got a bunch of stuff on the screen and this command line is just getting a little bit cluttered so a very useful command that you can use is CLS now you can run this from any directory and all this is gonna do is it's just gonna clear your screen so it doesn't like you know delete any folder or file or anything it pretty much is just like opening up a new command line but you don't have to actually close it and open it again so again that's CLS and that means clear screen very useful so now let me show you guys this. Let me navigate over to my desktop in a file called Eric and I'll show you guys what's in this right now. So right now in this file, and by the way, Eric is my main uh, developer on my website. So that's why I have a random uh, directory called Eric. And I have a bunch of images inside here because whenever I find a bug for my website, I take a screenshot of it and I'm like, hey, you might wanna check this out. So, you know, that's my background story. <clears throat> that was embarrassing um okay moving on all right so the reason i told you guys that is because let's say that i only wanted to list the pings in here or maybe jpegs or maybe any specific type of document maybe just the text files well what i could do is i can write dir and so for example there are a couple pings in here let's say if i just wanted to view those i can write star dot png so star is basically like a wildcard character so this means list any file it doesn't really matter it doesn't matter what the name is but as long as it ends in dot png then check it out so what it's going to do in this case is it's going to go through and list all the contents but only the the ones that end in PNG. So all my pings, pretty sweet. Now, another thing I wanna point out is this. Let me write CLS and clear the screen. A lot of the time you're gonna find yourself typing um, a certain command over and over and over again. Now, if the command is kind of long, then it can be kind of a pain in the butt just to type in the whole thing over and over. So what you can actually do is you can access your command history by pressing the up arrow. So if you just press your up arrow, it's going to take you through all of the previous commands that you typed. So look at that. Now, if you press the down arrow, then what it's going to do is going to take you back to the most recent one. So pretty much pressing the up arrow is going back through your history and pressing the down arrow is kind of like pressing forward in a browser. So let's see, say that I want to do a CD dot dot to go up a directory. Well, I wanna go up another directory, but I'm too lazy to type it again. I can just hit up arrow and type again. Up arrow, boom, look at that. Let's go back to Bucky. Clear screen and all right. Actually, let me go to uh, desktop and Eric again. I'll show you guys something else cool. And let's see what's in here. All right. So one other thing I wanna mention is this. If you just type the name of a file without any special command before it, what it does is it just opens it in the default program. So I'm just gonna type o2 progress bar dot ping. Now I'm just typing the file name and that's it. So whenever I hit enter, what it's gonna do is it's gonna look for whatever program I use to view images and it's gonna open it in that. So if it's a text file, it's gonna open it in notepad. Um, you can actually open executables and basically any file like, um, I don't know, even a Photoshop file and it would open it in Photoshop if you have Photoshop. But there you go, just typing the name of the file opens it in the default program. And the last thing I'm gonna talk to you guys about before you go is this. Let's say that there's a command that you're looking at online and I don't know, maybe your friend told you about it if you guys talk about commands a lot and you wanna find out some more information about it. So I'll tell you guys now, there's a command called IB, IP config but there's kind of a lot of things that you can do with it. So to access the help and options menu, after any command, if you write forward slash question mark, this is pretty much gonna bring up the help or options menu. So it's gonna give you a brief overview of what it does. And it says, okay, displays networking information. It's basically what it does. And it's gonna show you all of the optional, optional things or flags that you can use with it. And by options, I mean, remember I showed you guys that there's the dir command and then dir slash a. So that slash a is an option. 
And there's also a bunch of options for other commands as well. But anyways, we're getting kind of ahead of ourselves. And, you know, I'm sure you guys are overwhelmed. So for now, thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to subscribe. I'll see you guys in the next video.